Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Cute Nail Art. You're probably hearing the terms base coat and top coat tossed around. And the biggest questions on your mind are probably, what exactly are they and why do we need them? And I actually wondered that myself, to be honest with you. Well, I thought it was just regular nail polish like this, like colored nail polish. I thought base coat was when you paint your nails once and top coat was if you went over it again with the same color to make it thicker or glossier or more opaque and I just thought that's what base and top coat were. I honestly had no idea what people were talking about. And then when I found out that, oh no, there's like clearish stuff and one is a base coat and one's a top coat, I thought, well, why do you need all these silly layers of stuff on your nails? Why not just paint your nails once and just be done? And honestly, most of my life, I would just choose a color and I would paint my nails and just one coat and done. Never bothered with anything more than that. And that's what most people do, actually. But the problem with that was always I noticed that I couldn't go more than a few days without nail polish chipping and peeling, especially out here on the ends of my nails. But anyway, I did some research and I stumbled on some very interesting facts. A co-worker of mine actually told me that top coats, its purpose is to go over the top of the nail polish color that you've chosen for your nails and it makes it last a lot longer and it protects it from peeling and chipping. So that got me curious. I went out and bought some top coat and I tried it and she was right. It lasted for weeks. This was actually the first top coat that I ever bought. The problem is I, I never use this one anymore because I've uh, discovered other things that are better. I quickly discovered that it really takes a long time for an ordinary top coat to dry and if you're doing nail art, which I love to do nail art, a bad top coat can actually smear and smudge your design and again take forever to dry. So the best thing to get is a fast dry top coat or a speed dry top coat. When you paint that over your nails, it actually penetrates the other layers of paint and makes them dry a lot faster. And then also if you're doing a specific design, it'll actually protect that design. Because if you've ever tried to do nail art without a top coat, you're going to notice two big things. Number one, the different layers of paint that you use for the little details that you do are going to chip and peel off individually and your whole design will get messed up. And also, when you hold your hand under the light, you're going to be able to see different layers of paint. Like, you could actually see the layer lines and it's all uneven and lumpy and everything. So those are both unattractive qualities in nail art. Um, I wasn't sure how some nail artists made it look like all the art was sealed under a gorgeous glossy coating of something and that's what it is. It's a top coat. So this will make it all look really smooth and shiny and make it look like all your whole design was all one layer. And there's other kinds. Um, this is a matte top coat. So basically, you paint your design or you paint your color, and when you put this over the top of it, it will actually make it look matte instead of glossy or shiny. That's kind of an interesting effect. Once you know what top coat is and how great it is, you're addicted. Hence why I got a big bottle of it because I am forever using top coat on pretty much everything. So now that we've got that out of the way, we'll talk about base coats. Uh, this is one of the base coats I have. I've got two of them. This is by Sesh. So a base coat is different than a top coat. You actually put this on your nails before you paint them. And what it does is it protects your natural nail from staining. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but especially with certain colors like green or blue or yellow and even red actually, it can stain your nails, um, especially black. If you've ever painted your nails black before, oh my gosh. It helps to prevent that. You put a coating of this on and then you let it dry completely and then you paint your nails. So this will kind of stand in between the nail polish and your nail and act as sort of a protective barrier. The other thing it does is it helps the paint, the nail polish, kind of stick to your nail better so it like anchors the nail polish or the design to your nail.
it actually makes your uh, manicure last a lot longer. So when you pair this with a good top coat, you got a manicure that's gonna last a long time and your nails won't get stained so much if you happen to be using one of the uh, colors that I mentioned. So yeah, that's the steps of any manicure or painting your nails, what it should be honestly, if you really want it to last a long time and look really good. You start off with a base coat, then you choose your color or your design, whatever design you want to do, and then you finish it off with a top coat. And don't worry, this all comes off with regular nail polish remover, just like nail polish. And no, base coats and top coats are not the same thing as clear nail polish, because clear nail polish is basically just polish with absolutely no pigment in it. It is not a base coat, it is not a top coat. You'll notice in a lot of nail art videos and it, every time you go to a salon, they're probably gonna use a base coat and then paint their nails and then do a top coat. But now you know what it is and I hope I've helped to shed some light on the subject and maybe encourage you to go out and get yourself a good base coat and a good top coat. You gotta just make it part of your routine if you're interested in nail art or just doing your own at-home manicures. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope this helps and have a great day.